What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to install an FTP server on your computer so that uh, your friends or user base can access files that you're sharing or even contribute files to certain folders in your database. Um, so let's go ahead and go to filezilla-project.org. Um, Filezilla is a well-known uh, open source program that's been out for quite some time, many, many years, and is trusted by many um you know, webmasters using servers. So we're gonna gonna download the FileZilla server, not the client. This is the server download, and this is the one that your clients are gonna be using if they decide to use FileZilla. But we actually need this server to install on our machine. So let's go ahead and download that. And let's run the installer. We can click on I agree. Uh, this is just standard um, information. We do need the first two, the service that runs in the background, the administration interface. Uh, we don't necessarily need the source code, start menu shortcuts, or desktop icons, but the default is should be fine for most of us. This is the default location that we're installing to. That's fine. Now, this might seem like the port that you're going to set up for FTP, but um, this is actually the administration interface port. So we can leave this one as default. We'll still be using port 21 for FTP once this is finished. But this is the administration port, which is 14.14.7. Um, and we'll leave that as default. Unless you have some advanced security reasons that you want to change it. Um, so then please choose how the server interface should be started. Uh, start if a user logs on. That's perfect. And then we'll run the installer and it will open the interface as soon as we hit close. There it is. And here's the administration port. And let's go ahead and click on connect. All right. So now it says that we are logged on to our server. Perfect. So now that we have our server running, we can go in and um, add users to our server as well as define where um, they have access to. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new user. And let's name that user Mike. Um, we can hit OK. And we can give that user a password. I'm just going to write Mike for the password, just for the sake of testing. Um, and then we can go into shared folders. And we can add a directory. I can say I'd like to share my desktop which is not advisable but let's say i want to share my desktop and give read access to mike um, and then we can set speed limits we can say that either there's a limit or a default of no limit and then we can actually filter ip addresses that will allow us to choose who can and cannot connect on our server so once we've gone ahead and done that we can press ok and the account settings are now added. So when the user Mike logs in, they'll be able to um, see the desktop. All right, so let's see if it worked. Let's go ahead and type in FTP colon slash slash localhost port 21 and hit enter. Now we have a username and password list. We're going to type in Mike and password Mike. And yep, it does look like I can access um, my desktop, which is great. So, um, yeah, this is a quick and easy way to install FTP servers on your computer and give access. You can even do group access and set, for example, a group called friends, a group called um, family, or whatever you'd like to put, and give them different types of access as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, end the video here, and I'm going to make another video on how to open up your um, web servers or FTP servers for um, remote access as opposed to local access. Thank you guys again so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. We also now have a join button, so you can now join our membership for $1.99 to get access to all of our live streams or $4.99 to get your name in your videos um, as a supporter. So in all of the videos that I release, you'll get your name at the end of the video as a supporter. Um, 
we also have uh, Stream Savers, which is now available for pre-order and the beta is now working. Stream Savers is a gacha style um, RPG idle clicker game that lives in your um, live stream. So if you stream on Twitch, you can actually have uh, your audience interact with your characters on, on screen and even drop into the game themselves um, in PvP mode. So it's a pretty cool application and we recently got picked up by uh, Streamlabs OBS to release on their app store as well. So if you're a Prime member, you may actually get that for free soon. Uh, but yeah, thank you again for watching the video and um, do any and all of those things that I mentioned. Uh, yeah, love you guys. Have a great one. Peace.